Hey guys, this is Insane Dragon HD here, and welcome to episode 30 of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge. In the last episode, we we tackled on half this route and ba and battled some trainers. In this episode, we'll be taking on the rest of the route and taking on the rest of the trainers, or most of the route, actually most of the route. But uh, here we're going to try to capture our and maybe capture ourselves a partner in this episode. So we're gonna run in the grass and see what we get. Hopefully it's a good Pokemon. Good Pokemon. Uh, it's an oddish. I guess that's a. I guess that's a good Pokemon. It's not really the best Grass type, but I do like Gloom and Vile Plume for some weird reason. I don't know why, but I guess they're good Pokemon. Uh, uh, so I. So I took the time. So I have to say sorry for not uploading. My mic broke, which really sucked because I really wanted to upload. I couldn't upload because my mic broke. I don't like uploading episodes with no commentary because it just I don't like no commentary videos I mean I'll watch no commentary videos but they're not my favorite because all you watch is basically what you're doing you don't get to hear person talking all you do is basically just you're basically you're basically previewing I really don't know but I hope so the question of the day I know I'm throwing this out in the beginning but the question the question of the day is do you like the new mic quality? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it needs to be better? Because if it's bad, I will get a new mic because I don't want to give you guys bad mic quality. Because I don't like bad mic quality myself. Because I've already had that, that other mic I had didn't have a stand. Luckily, this one has a stand, so I don't actually have to hold it every time I want to do a Let's Play, which really annoys me because I don't like doing... Uh, I didn't like holding it. That That's the part that really annoyed me because it was so small I had to hold it and I did not and really I did not have the most fun with it. So I have so basically what happened is uh, During the time I lost my mic broke My mic broke. I went to go bowling with my friend Matthew. You see we're best friends and we wanted to a uh, bowl and we're and we're sitting there and basically we agree to go bowling we go to his house pick him up do the usual stuff and then we come back and then we basically just go to the bowling alley my mom drops us off we get our games pay five bucks to get shoes and then we start actually playing the game during that time we order pizza and get a pitcher of soda now we played two games and then after that, we played two games. We did terrible. I got a hundred. He got like I think a fifty or something. But but and then because I haven't played bowling in years. But then uh, after we ate our pizza, um, I called my mom, told her we wanted to go, and we ended up. And after that, we waited and waited and waited. We ended up getting so bored that I felt like falling asleep at like we waited there for like two hours. I got so bored that I literally started to think that falling asleep was the best thing to do, which I literally do not think that, because I don't like going to, like, sleep in crap. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't want to be that bored. So, I will, so I've been considering to doing a, a Super Smash Brothers series. I don't know if I will. I might do a Let's Play, but the quality of my camera is not the best. And I'm planning after this to finish up my, after this, after this Pokemon walkthrough, I'm planning to finish up my Final Fantasy walkthrough and my Lunar Legend walkthrough, because I've really neglected those playthroughs, and I need to stop neglecting them. So, if you guys give me five likes on this video, I will upload an episode within the same day. Hopefully I can. Oh, great. Sorry, that was banging. That was me playing with my phone again. I don't know what it is. I just get bored and I start doing random things. So we're gonna go for the gig. So we're gonna go for the Giga Drain on her Poliwag since it, even though it's not a stab, it is a. I think it's four, two or four times super effective and on water types. And Poliwag is a Soul Water type. It does evolve into a Water and Fighting type. Just like it kind of gains a typing. Just like just like um the Piplup at the Primplup to Empoleon. When Primplup evolves, it gains a steel type. A steel type typing, which is, in my opinion, is a terrible typing. Uh, even though it's a good Pokemon, I do like it, but its typing is not good. Its typing is terrible. Steel and steel and water, that, gives, that gives a water type a weakness to fire. Not the best. 
So I have been playing Pokemon Conquest lately. Uh, I've already got, I think I've already got like eight or nine kingdoms so far, and I'm like halfway through the game. So basically, yeah, I will be, I will be playing that later today. I might beat the game in the next week or so. It's because it's a strategy game, and for some reason, when I play a strategy game, time seems to go by a lot slower. So I immediately think that that it is that it's been like two hours when it's literally only been like 10 minutes and I'm like oh my god strategy games go by forever yes strategy games do because you are thinking the entire time unlike most games where you don't think at all and you're just staring at the screen doing the crap now obviously now I was playing against um, one of my friends um, one of my friends and he basically kicked my we were playing Super Smash Bros he kicked my butt and then I go and ask him, and he says he's like some tournament person, and we're, and I'm like, oh my god, he like, I asked, I, I literally asked him, like what, um, well on DA of course, I asked him like what characters were which, he told me every character's a good spot, every character's a bad spot, wow, I'm like, this guy must play, this guy must play a lot of SSBB, he is a tournament advisor, so, of course he does. I haven't. I've only had Super Smash Bros. for like a month, and I'm already playing on Intense. I tried. I'm so used to Intense that when I play on like normal, I kick their butts because I don't like playing on normal. Oh great! Sorry for the banging again. I'm, for some reason, I love banging my phone. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna run out of this chance because say my bird Pokemon wants a battle with you. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll cream your bird Pokemon. We'll throw them in a burner and burn their insides. No, we're not going to do that because I actually like Pidgey. So we're going to send out. Uh, so we are going to send out Sucker since Ranger cannot do any damage because Ranger is a ground type and moves we know are ground type moves, which really sucks because we won't be able to do anything pretty much. So she's so she's going to go. He's going to go for the quick attack and we're going to go for the bite, which is literally going to almost KO his. KO his Pidgey. Now, now, now there's one thing that uh, Ron900, I think 1123 was trying to tell me. He was telling me about how to lower audio, and I couldn't get with the, what the fuck he was saying. I'm like, dude, I don't get, oh, don't, I don't get what you're saying. And then I'm like, he tries to explain it to me, and I'm still sitting there with my mind, like, I'm staring at it like, oh my god, what are you saying? I'm like, I get lost pretty easily when it comes to some things. When someone I I can't understand most things, but when it comes to something I don't know about, I get lost and I pretty much don't even know what to do. So I have been watching so I have been watching Newfie Bonga's Crash 2 Let's Play and I have decided that I might do a Crash Let's Play because I do enjoy the Crash series. It's like a fucked up version of Mario, but it's really fun. Uh, you basically you die from things more than Mario does like you get shrunk to death and you get burned you the jetpack levels are really annoying because you go down you press down to go up you press up to go down and you press back to go forward and I think down to go and forward to go backward I'm not really sure but it's like really hard to get used to I did play the game years ago I did do a jetpack level I don't. I think they. Fi I think Naughty Dog fixed it when Crash: The Wrath of Cortex came out because I played Crash: The Wrath of Cortex. I've never played Crash 2. I watched a Let's Play of Crash 2, and I got to see the secret ending, which in Crash: The Wrath of Cortex, I never bothered to get shit because I didn't care about 100%. Um, I mean, I should do 100%. I if I ever do Let's Play, no, I will not do 100%. And just with Zelda Let's Plays, I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, any Zelda game that's after 1 or 2, I'm not doing 100%. Because I don't like, I don't like having to find heart pieces. That's, the, that's, that's my big, that's my big pet peeve about the later Zelda games. How they have the heart pieces that you have to find. You have to find 4 of them in order to get 1 heart. 1 heart. And then the bosses gave heart containers. But I just got the heart containers in Skyward Sword, and I had like I think 13 or so, like or 11. No, I had 13 uh, because of my medal that I had with the heart medal. 
And the heart metal is a good metal to have because it basically ups your, what it does is it ups your, it basically allows you to get hearts in hero mode, which I've beaten hero mode before, and I've also beaten normal mode. I'm doing a six heart run, which I've said before, I know I have, but I'm doing a six heart run of Skyward Sword, I've been playing it, I just beat third dungeon, Mulder Rock. And Mulder Rock was really easy, surprisingly. I did it with three hearts of damage, and I, I did it with three hearts, and I only took two hearts of damage. So I lived. So I lived the match. Uh, it was pretty easy because uh, it was really. I don't find Mulder Rock to be that difficult. Although you do fight Mulder Rock two times in the game, and I do know right now I'm seeing like insane Zelda, insane Zelda HD instead of insane Dragon Knight HD because I'm because I'm blabbing about Zelda again. Because for some reason I like to blab about that. So there is a Pokemon game I might let's play on uh, Pokemon Fusion Blast. In case you're wondering what that is, that's a new collab channel with me, Dark Charizard 77, Charizard Charizard, and some other guy I have never heard of. Uh, but I really don't know. I'm ho I'm hoping Charizard Charizard. I'm hoping that uh, that Dark Charizard 77 can improve his video quality because I really. Personally, he does make good videos, but he does not make, like, great videos. They're good, like, I can watch them, but they're not great. They're okay. So, oh, and also I forgot to go into the, I think I went into the question of the day, but if I did, I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, it is, the question of the day is to comment, is to tell me what you think the mic quality is. What do you think of the new mic quality? Do you think uh, I should I should get a new one, or do you think I should stick with this one? Because I really need to know because I will be re using this mic for future episodes. So please, like, tell me. So if you guys give me five likes, I'm pretty sure I've already said this. I'm repeating myself. Yay. But if you guys give me five likes, I will upload an episode within the same day. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. So obviously you guys have been wondering about the quality thing. I don't know how to fix it, and the other problem is I zoom in on the video because it, because if I don't, it will be small as hell, and you won't be able to see the screen. Literally, you won't be able to see it. I've seen what it looks like without zooming, and it is so small you would pretty much you wouldn't like it at all. I mean, my friend doesn't have problems with it, and I'm trying to make it to where it's not blurry for you guys, so I can have good quality videos. Now, I'm sorry if there was audio problems in this video. I'm sorry, this, and I'm sorry if this commentary wasn't the best because I did repeat myself like twice. So we're gonna get the iron, which raises our defense stat, uh, our base defense stat by one. If uh, it's good to give a level five Pokemon ten of those, and then train Pokemon that are in defense until you get the amount of defense EVs you want. Then after that, you will basically just give it rare candies and watch its defense stack go up, because you really want your if that that that's good if you want a Pokemon that has high defense. So now back to the game. We are talking to this man who is giving us a super rod, and he is the F Fisher G Guru's under br younger brother, not under brother, younger brother. But basically, he is, he gives us the better rod, which is the super rod. We can capture more than Magikarp. Uh, with the good rod, you can only capture Magikarp. Although I do like Magikarp, and although I do like Magikarp because it does evolve into Gyarados. That's the only reason I like Magikarp. There was any other reason, but obviously, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to have to end the episode here. This has been Saiyan Dragonite HD. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.